Welcome back to Sky's Movies, and today is Monday. Uh, I've got a day off work, so I'm going to be hitting the town of Manchester, uh, checking out CX, HMV, uh, see if there's any charity shops up there I can find. Um, yeah, I've got um, a bag, couple of bags full of items to train into CX. Um, I'm hitting up town because uh, my local place doesn't take DVDs, so I'm hope, kind of hoping that they, they will. Uh, but yeah, um, so yeah, I'm going to get on the road now. And uh, we'll we'll see you in town. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're in uh, Manchester now. I'm heading up to the uh, shops. Um, I'll show you a few, few of the uh, titles that have been released today there. Um, yeah, I'm not after any of those. I'll be clearly going to head it, uh, heading to CX. So we'll have to see what we can find. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you at CX in a minute. Okay, so yeah, here we are at CX. Let's see what we can find today. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so at the Blu-ray section in CX, and the first thing I'm seeing is uh, we've got a couple of copies here of 48 hours, and they usually had a, recently had a 4K release. Five quid, that's pretty good. And yeah, shocking. This is uh, all the Bond movies. I was I was going to plan on picking up some of these. Every last one of them reprinted cover. Uh, yeah, what a joke that is. Even got a no time to die with a reprinted cover. Unbelievable. <clears throat> so I won't be getting them today. There's a couple <coughs> more there, Spider Man and what's that? Another Spider Man and some Bones there, reprinted covers. Got a Black Panther there, 4K for 8 quid, that's pretty good. There's another title I was looking to get today, Batman the Movie, but no, reprinted cover. There's actually two of them there as well. Bill and Ted, reprinted cover. Sound like a broken record, but. This CX is, is just awful for repeat covers. Here's one without one. Blazing Saddles, fantastic film. Um, showing its age now. Wouldn't get away with stuff like that. But uh, even a bullet train, it's been out five minutes. Got a repeat cover, Batman there. I own that set, that's a good set. Um, yeah, it's going to turn into one long rant from uh, about CX. Um, what else can we see there? Some Doctor Who there, and what's this? Uh, I think this recent out of 4K, Dragons Forever. Uh, Jackie Chan there, I've not seen that one. 10 quid that was. Uh, what else can we see? Um, any more repeated calls? Yeah, we got The Exorcist there, there's another one. Uh, full Metal Jacket of 4K here for 12 quid, that's a pretty good price. Uh, I've never seen Full Metal Jacket, I'm still on the list. House, reprinted cover, and over here we've got some Jurassic Park, and we've never got reprinted covers. We've got some Jungle Book there. Uh, what else can we find? Morbius in 4K, so like £18. I've not seen that. Um, I've been waiting for that to uh, come a lot cheaper. There's another reprint, Last Matinee. Unbelievable. Uh, this pet cemetery there looks pretty good for eight pound on four K, but the case is uh, unfortunately a bit knackered. Got the return there, series one and two for six pound. Never heard of that, but sounds like quite a good deal for six pound. We got Reacher there. I've never seen that either. I believe that's supposed to be pretty good though. Um, we got Sons of Anarchy box set there. I think that was twenty eight pound. Um, this film only got Silent Night, Deadly Night, eight pound one hundred one films. Um, I was tempted by that. Um, from Star Wars, uh, and there's the is it? I think this is what Big Paulie got the other week Twin Peaks, £18. Um, I only find it in a charity shop. We've got loads of uh, double packs of Top Gun and Top Gun Maverick there, £25. Um, and we've got everyone's favourite Thor movie, so £18 on 4K. Yeah, and uh, we moved on from CX now and oh, good state of him. This pretty cool shop went past with uh, the joke and they got Arnie there. Another friend here. 
Mr. Kruger. And uh, of course, uh, he's been kept company by Annabelle. And we're going to head into um, HMV now. Um, see what we can find in there, see we can check out the new releases. Um, yeah, here we are at the Trend Edition. We've got this thing I've seen as a DVD of Halloween Ends. Uh, yeah, I wasn't a great fan of this movie. It was probably the worst movie last year. Um, I just didn't think it finished the trilogy very well. We've got a Blu ray here. One thing I've noticed with these, they've all, they all seem to have the same cover, it's no different artwork. 4K as well, the same cover. That's a bit cheap really, I would have thought they might have changed it up a little bit. Uh, there's another horror movie on the bottom smile there, I didn't watch that, I wasn't much of a fan. Yeah, speaking of your different artwork, you've got Black Anime, new release. I like that artwork, that's pretty cool. On the 4K. And we've got different artwork here on the Blu-ray. Uh, 14 dollars Blu-ray right? and we've got uh, the DVD here which is 9 99 but I think I like that part with the best, I think that's very really cool. Um, but yeah, so that's the new releases this week and we've got over some sort of toys here, we've got a bit of uh, Gizmo, that's pretty cool, and then wins. And then we've got, what's that, I don't know what it is, um, Puppet Master. Yeah, we're back over to some more uh, movies here and we've got Jamie Powell's favourite he picked up last week, The Monsters. Yeah, I've not watched that, um, I'll wait for that to come on. It's probably Netflix or something. This is a new release today, Emily the Criminal. Uh, don't know anything about this. Uh, but yeah, might be pretty good. Or to Plaza, is it? I know that name, I don't know why though. Um, got some Mile Wild Crossrail. Uh, anything else? Oh. We've got DVD of Crimes of the Future, I'm not sure if this is new this week or not. David Cronenberg film, that might be pretty good. And uh, at the sales section here, let's see if we've got anything. And we've seen some, everyone's favourite Fast and Furious film, number nine. We've got, what's that, The Silver here, part two. Front of the Open, I've seen that for about four minutes here yet, so that's not much of a reduction. Um, I don't know what that is, I think that criteria is in the wrong place. We've got a BBC series here, The War of the Worlds, not seen that. It's coming down with us, that's any good. Uh, what else we got? In it, LG, in the house, at random. And uh, yeah, got some Crown there, King Richard, and some Jurassic World trilogy, 999. And uh, we're going to flop now, see if we can find anything in there. Oh, you're going the wrong way. Oh, here we are. Um, here's some new, new releases this week, actually. With, with John Wayne, we've got the Fighting Kentuckian. My dad will be the one to tell everyone about these. He's must have seen every John Wayne film over the years. We've got another one here, Vela Rides, with Yul Brynner and Robert Mitchum. That was pretty nice. Uh, and we've also got uh, one, I think, Another one Jamie picked up, I think, the other week, The Iceman Cometh. I don't know what that, I don't know anything about that. Uh, anything else? Aubrey, uh, sorry, Aubrey Plaza there and Emily the Criminal. We've got Vengeance, another new release this week. With Dove Cameron in it, I don't know anything about that. And this is, uh, was out a few weeks back in the uh, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. And we're back, guys, and uh, yeah, it's been a pretty good day. Um, I've got uh, three pickups today, uh, more from CX. Um, but first, uh, I just want to talk about CX. Um, yeah, I went in there with a couple of bags worth of uh, stuff to trade in. Um, a lot of DVDs, as you as you may have heard on previous videos, I've had issues with uh, my local CX not taking DVDs in anymore, or at least for the moment, because these were pretty much full. Um, but I've been to I say Manchester today, and uh, yeah, didn't have a problem. It took me probably about half an hour to get them uh, traded in because there was a lot of box sets and that but uh, yeah it took them no problem and I come out with a voucher for around £82 so well happy with that um, and yeah uh, that was great um, the big problem I had today was uh, as I said at the start there I've got three pickups that could have been quite a few more if it wasn't for the reprinted covers oh my god this was shocking in this store, it really was shocking. 
how many repeated colours there is. I, I did highlight it on the uh, on the video there, but uh, I mean, it's like the, the James Bond movies. There was probably about f oh, probably five or six, probably all, all the ones I need for the for my collection in there. Uh, but every, absolutely every one of them was a reprinted cover. Um, I'm, I'm after Goldfinger, Living Daylights, for example, License to Kill, uh, Man with a Gun and Gun, I think. And yeah, all of them reprinted covers. And I was just like, you know, what, what can you say about that? And uh, just generally on everything else, um, I, I had a bit of a list. Um, I had a look in there. I, um, I was looking at uh, Ghost, he has a premium collection, uh, which. It's always a risky one because you don't know if you're going to get a slip. But again, that was a repeated cover. Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, Batman. I think I highlighted that in the video. Batman the movie from 1966. Yeah, repeated cover. They had two copies of that, but repeated covers. But yeah, it's, it was just shocking. But uh, as I say, uh, I did end up getting a couple of pickups, and I'll show you them now. So the, yeah, the first thing he picks up is a is a Marvel film. Well, from before they were doing the MCU. Uh, and I don't mind this film, it's from 2003, starring Ben Affleck, and it's Daredevil, uh, and this was three quid. Um, yeah, I, I've had this on DVD in the past, but um, yeah, as I say, I don't mind it, it's, it's not a bad little movie. Um, and it's, I wanted to pick it up to go alongside you know, the Fantastic Four and uh, the other uh, movies from that, that era. But uh, yeah, and uh, I'm looking forward to giving it another watch. So yeah, that's Daredevil. Uh, the next one I picked up is a uh, an Arrow release. Um, in fact, the next two are Arrow releases. Uh, now this one is an 80s film that I've been looking to upgrade for quite a while. But uh, every time I've gone into CX that's uh, had a copy of it, uh, it's had the aforementioned reprinted cover. Well, for once, this one didn't have one. Uh, so I picked it up and it's Big Trouble in Little China um, yeah classic film from the 80s I was never the massive this biggest fan of this movie at the time but um, I, I do enjoy it now and um, yeah happy to add it to the to the collection uh, can't go wrong with a bit of Kurt Russell a narrow release is uh, yeah it's, it's going to be a good uh, good transfer and uh, yeah looking forward to checking out again and the final pickup is is another Arrow release. Uh, this is a film that um, I seen you had in stock, and it was only five pound. And and so I thought I'd check out the trailer. The trailer looked like a lot of fun, and it's and it's a, and it's an Australian film from nineteen eighty six. I've never heard of it, but it's called Dead End Driving, and this is five as I say five pound. Uh, yeah, um, it looked like a lot of fun. It's like a cross between sort of Mad Max and I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know, a, a sort of Mad Max style film, but like it looks like in the driving movie thing in there, and and it just looks a bit crazy on the trailer, it like it like a bit of fun. And for for a five year old, I'll check it out, and obviously being on the RO label, it's um, yeah, gonna look look pretty good, I would imagine. So uh, yeah, that's that's dead end driving. Um, I said I'll check it out and uh, let you know in a future video if it's if it is any good or if it is one of the uh, worst RO movies uh they are a bit of hit and miss but yeah i will give it a whirl and yeah that that was the just the three pickups today as i say um if i had my way if it wasn't three pretty covers i probably would have had maybe half a dozen bond movies uh a, 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 quite a few more films but they've, they've you know they've, they've lost themselves some uh some some money there so i don't know it's just shocking um but anyway comment down below um if you'd have picked any of these films up, if you've seen Dead End Driving at all, if it's if it's any good, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon for some more uh, Blu-ray hunting. Bye, guys.